Hello world, we are live at 5. It is Thursday, August 9th. You are seeing us in the middle of Times Square. You can't tell, but we're at the Broadway.com offices. My name is Paul Wintorek. And I'm Beth Stevens. And over there, we have Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. And over there, we have a special guest you can't see yet. Who, Eric. Uh, Eric Anderson, who's Anderson. starring in a brand new Broadway musical comedy, Pretty Woman. Maybe you know the title. <laughs> But you don't know the musical. It's brand new. Not yet. He, he was will. on the Today Show this morning, so he's had. A, it's a very busy. It's uh, a press very day. pretty woman day. We'll get yes. to him first. Today's top five. A new musical is officially coming this season. Yes. All right. We've been talking about this because we're it's one excited. One of our favorite movies from the eighties. And I know that you're all young and you haven't seen Tootsie. See Tootsie, yeah, rent it. the movie. Rent but it. get ready for Tootsie to come to Broadway. So now we've got dates. Uh, we know Santina Fontana is the lead and Lily Cooper What's and Sarah Styles. You, you said we have dates. I don't know if I have a date yet. Yeah, you're coming with me, kid. <laughs> um, your husband? Yeah. Does he like Tootsie yeah. too? Everybody likes Tootsie. I'm sorry. It's one Keep of the going. best it's movies It's the final show of the week. <laughs> Keeping it loose. <laughs> so it's playing Chicago's Cadillac Theater starting September 11th through October 14th. That cast is then coming to Broadway March 29th, opening on April 23rd. That's Tony time. Tony time. At the, Tony the Marquee season. Theater. So get ready. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. It's going to be great. And a Tony winning director is now going to be center stage. David Cromer just won a Tony Award, not for acting, for directing The Band's Visit. True. Mm -hmm. But he's an actor, too. Uh, yeah. And he will now be in Kenneth Lonergan's The Waverly Gallery, which is sort of a starry revival of an yeah. off-broad, never appeared on Broadway before, No, correct? it didn't. That's correct. Um, he was in Raisin in the Sun on Broadway, mm -hmm. and off-Broadway he was in Our Town, which he also directed. Was right. he in it too? He, I, that's he what it went says into here, it after a while. Yeah, yeah. That's what it I says. think he directed. directed. Yeah, he directed it. Uh, he's joining the cast, which includes Joan Allen. That's Heidi, everyone. From the Heidi Chronicles. <laughs> Look sorry, it up. It's just Look a it personal up. thing for me. <laughs> uh, Elaine May, Michael Sarah, Lucas Hedges. Um, it starts. What's her name? L Lala Neugebauer. 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 She's a director. She La did The Wolves off Broadway, yes. and I will learn how to say her name. Preview starts September 25th, opening October 25th at the Golden Theater. It's going to be a big deal. Mm -hmm. And a stage favorite is tra trading in his ballroom shoes for some red high heels. You really made that work, Caitlin. I did. So thank you for that. Mark Ballas is coming to Kinky Boots. He's going to play Charlie Price starting September 11th. He's replacing uh, David Cook, who's leaving September 9th. Mm -hmm. And Mark Ballas was in the final cast of Jersey Boys on Broadway. Well, that's not what he's famous for. No, no, no. <laughs> what is he famous for, Caitlin? Dancing with the Stars. Dancing with the Stars. But we know him on Broadway. I'm just giving you the Broadway aspect. He yeah. was a Frankie Valley. Yes. Broadway, Broadway.com blogger. Briefly. Mm -hmm. Briefly. Do you remember what his vlog was called? Walk like a yes. man. Yes. Walk like a man. Walk I just like guessed. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yes. Anyway, welcome, Mark Ballas. Welcome back to Broadway. Amazing. And we found out who's going to be wearing their Sunday clothes all across the country. <laughs> it works. You don't it's have to roll your eyes at her. Come it, on. Works. it works. What else is she going to um, do? <laughs> I think people on tours usually pack kind of light, actually. I don't think they're going to oh. bring that many fancy clothes on the road. But the Hello Dolly is hitting the road. <laughs> Betty Buckley is the lead. That's what we already and, knew. And they're What's the new information? Already. I mean, I'm Betty's here. Betty's in town. Oh. You can always, the air is different when Betty Buckley's here. Oh, we love um, Betty Buckley. And let's see, uh, Louis J. Stadlin, a two time Tony nominee. He did a lot of shows with Nathan Lane, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and he understudied a lot for Nathan Lane. Right, correct. He will play Horace Vandergelder. Nick Rulo, who was in the Book of Mormon, is he the longest running? Um, I think he I think, yes. Price? I think that there's a star somewhere over there. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he is playing Cornelius. Annalisa Leeming, who just was in School of Rock, is mm -hmm. playing Irene Malloy with the ribbons down her back. Um, also, Jess Laproto is Barnaby. Mm -hmm. Kristen Hahn is Minnie Faye. And Garrett Haw, who is in a cast of Carousel, is uh, playing Ambrose Kemper. Mm -hmm. uh, who's Ambrose Kemper? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to know these things? Pop quiz. Hello, Dolly. will start September 30th at <laughs> Cleveland's Playhouse Square and then go all across the country. And Betty Buckley is going to... Probably make you cry. Probably. Who's Ambrose Kemper? Kemper Kempner? <laughs> what is this a character? I was Write us to and let us know. Subject. Okay, let's move on. I'm, I'm not like a Hello Dolly expert. Then why are you thinking I would be? Oh, he he must be the guy. Oh, the guy oh. That the girls wants to marry. That's the that, guy, yeah. Sorry. of course. Sorry, sorry. No idea. He's gonna be great. Great, wonderful. And after 20 years, this musical is finally happening. Finally. I was this very is, excited this about this. This is an exciting story. Let's give a little backstory here. This is Oh, and I already brought up the Heidi Chronicles. This is like I an old timer episode. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get up 
Gather round, children. <laughs> We're going to talk about Pamela's first musical. Okay. Listen. Wendy Wasserstein was a wonderful playwright who died at the age of 55 in 2006. Yeah. She, was, she wrote a children's book called Pamela's First Musical yes. about a young girl whose mother dies and her aunt shows her like in a mame kind of way yeah, like about the sense, fabulous like, uh, lights yeah. of Broadway. It's a great book. And Cy Coleman was like, Cy Coleman, I can write songs for that. Who died in That's 2004. The yeah. wonderful composer yeah. Cy Coleman was working on it with Christopher Durang, Wendy Wasserstein's longtime friend and um, playwright, fellow playwright, and David Zippel. I think Lincoln Center was working on it at one point. Then, well, she kind of lived at Lincoln Center, didn't she, yeah. Wendy Wasserstein? Okay, yeah. so anyway, now it's going to be in New Jersey at Two River Theater. This is very exciting. So this is a musical that's been in development for like 20-something years. Yes, yeah, since 1996. And, it, and there finally will be a real production of it. There was a reading this week, I think. There was. I saw Directed some fancy Broadway people were in the reading. Yes, direct. thank you. I was just getting to that point. Oh. <laughs> Directed and choreographed, we are tired, by uh, Graciela Danielle. Mm. Uh, the cast is led by Sarah McKinley Austin. Uh, Sarah McKinley Austin. Howard McGillan is in it, and Carly Carmelo. Wait, they're confirmed for the production? Yes. yes. Or they did the work? They are? Yeah. Yes. Carly's doing it? Yeah, it was in the news what? story. I didn't know that. It I was, just thought oh they did the reading. Oh, my God. Why do you think it's on this piece of paper? It was I'm in the news to story. Jersey. I just want to let you know that Eric Anderson's still here. Doing great. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's all I have to say about that. But anyway, <laughs> there are a few things for you to look up. Tootsie, Wendy Wasserstein. Okay. All right, Just enough. look it all up. Beth, it's been lovely. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Reminiscing about the 80s. Uh, hey, Caitlin, tell us more about Mr. Eric Anderson. Of course. Guys, Eric Anderson, he is currently starring in Pretty Woman, the musical that is opening next week. We're so, so excited. And he, was most, he most recently originated the role of Cal in Waitress on Broadway. And he's also been the member of original Broadway cast of Kinky Boots, The Last Ship, Rocky, and Soul Doctor, that earned him a Drama Desk nomination, and he was also in South Pacific. He's done a whole lot of stuff. His screen credits include The Greatest Showman, yes, that one, yes, the amazing one with Hugh Jackman, and that should come to Broadway, I'm projecting right now. He was also in oh, Elementary. Yeah. <laughs> he was also in Elementary, The Good Wife, Law and Order, Criminal Intent, Alias, a whole lot of other stuff. Be sure to follow him on Twitter at Ole Eric Anderson and on Ole. Instagram at E Groove. <laughs> And leave all your questions in the comments below. Everyone, please welcome Paul and Eric. Hello there. Mr. <laughs> Eric Anderson. Hi. How are you, sir? I'm so good. Ole Eric Anderson. Ole That's Ole me. Eric. Or Ole Eric Anderson. Ole. If you want to get festive. Yeah, I like that version better. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and what, what is, I, you know, I finally need to find out, what is E-Groove exactly? It's, uh, it's just the way I live. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, great. I said the, I said I the, beat, to I said the beat to an E-Groove. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I guess. I'm I down. Know. It's something that I created back in the rave days. Cool. That was, that was my handle back then right. and kind of just stuck. Yeah. Remember right. the rave days? I, I do. <laughs> so, so many glow sticks. Uh, so little time. So many glow sticks in your life. Mm -hmm. And Broadway musicals. You yeah. Know, you know that this is your seventh Broadway show? Did yeah. You, have you done that math? I, I wasn't have. good at math, but you're good at no, math. No, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping track. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm, I'm very grateful. It, you've, you're kind of on a roll. Thanks. You're like uh, in demand. People like having Eric Anderson around. So I saw this Pretty Woman musical. Yeah. You, how many characters do you play? Is that a secret? Shh. Not anymore. Oh. <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> well, you play one character. Well, it's one sure. character that becomes other characters. Yeah, there's I mean, little. Yeah, there's little moments. We literally we take advantage of the fairy godfather role, mm -hmm. and so I start as one character and cinematically transform into the next. Yeah, right before your eyes. Yeah, that happens like in the first ten minutes. So it's not really like a, a thing. It's not a spoiler it's anymore. Not, it's not <laughs> a spoiler. No, anything that happens <laughs> in Act One can be revealed. Oh yeah, that's the is that how it works? The rule. That's the rule I go by. Like in <coughs> reviews, in reviews, anything in Act One is fair game, in my opinion. Man, <laughs> <laughs> unless it's next to normal, unless then don't, the tell us don't tell us about yeah. him. Uh, yeah, so are you having fun? This Absolutely. Seems like, this is like a we great have, little uh, showcase for you. We have an extremely functional family. Yeah. Gary, Gary puts together a good, sh fun time, and and yeah, I'm having a blast. I've I felt like a bit of a guinea pig putting this track together, but. Now that it's what uh, do you mean by that? Uh, just because it's it's not a conventional track necessarily, and uh, and so is it true? I don't mean to cut you off, but is it true that uh, maybe it wasn't conceived this way originally, and they, they, these were different roles and different moments, uh, and that they were like, well, Eric Anderson's here. Well, I, th I think I think Gary Marshall had yeah. had the concept of of uh, 
of melding the things that I do together. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I think that they just kind of ran with that, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I think it's been definitely fleshed out from what the general idea of it was. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it, it's fun. Did you perform in a reading with Gary Marshall there? Nope. Okay. No. So did you ever meet him? Uh, yeah, I, I actually used to do shows at his theater in uh, in Burbank, the oh, Falcon yeah. Theater, which, which is now the there? Gary Marshall Theater. I was with a, a troupe called the Troubadour Theater Company, uh -huh. which they would take a Shakespearean uh, show and then add a rock artist to it. So it would be like Comedy of Aerosmith and Hamlet, the, the artist formerly known as Prince of Denmark, and <laughs> Othello, and Much of Doobie Brothers about nothing. I could go on. That's amazing. But uh, Gary really embraced this this company, and, and uh, once I moved to New York, Gary and Barbara would come see uh, see me in every show that I did, up 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 until Waitress. They saw me in Waitress. That's so interesting. And, and then the fact that uh, I got asked by Jerry to come do this uh, not long after Gary passed is really... Wow. Serendipitous and bittersweet. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. They, they must have been big theater supporters because I know that apparently. Absolutely. Uh, or if I told me that Andy Carl had the same, like, because mm -hmm. he was in his Happy Days musical and he came to, he's like, seems to see everything you did. Yeah. That's so amazing yeah. and supportive. Yeah. And it's so great to hear that that you guys have connections, that the yeah. cast has connections to And it's him. really cool that, you know, um, Bar Gary's wife, Barbara, and his, his daughter, Kathleen, are still so involved with yeah. it that mm -hmm. uh, I can still check in with them. Yeah. And, and uh, get that Gary vibe. And this really was his dream to Absolutely. have a Pretty Woman musical yep. on Broadway. I remember he talked about it for years. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he was really wise in choosing Jerry to helm it because uh, Jerry's got a similar family vibe about it that has really helped uh, structuralize it with grace. Uh-huh. And so Julia Roberts came. How about it? How was that? <laughs> she gave us the blessing. Yeah, you talked to her. I saw a photo of that. Yeah. How yeah. was that? Was We're she cool? solid. She's, she's as cool as you would imagine. Yeah. I think all the really big stars are. Hugh Jackman was like that too. Uh huh. Just like treats you as uh, as an equal and and uh, and doesn't w and won't stop talking to you. You know, mm. I mean, it was really uh, really cool. And she uh, literally gave our show her blessing, mm. which I think uh, it, it just propelled. You know, I mean, our audience the next day was just like very responsive. Yeah. You know, it was, it was almost like they were they were given added permission to enjoy yeah. themselves and, and escape yeah. into what we were doing. Yeah. Uh, the score, I've been singing the songs in my head yeah, it's a catchy. lot, a lot. They're very catchy. Like, and you don't really expect that. And then like, you can't get them out of <laughs> your head. Brian Adams and Jim Ballance, yeah. right? Wrote the music. Yeah. Is it fun to sing that like rock and roll? I mean, you yeah. get to do a lot of different things. Yeah. I get a, I get to sing a couple, couple of different styles too. And, and dancing. I, I get to sing dance. a duet with Orfei. Yes, Orfei, yes. And yeah, I get to do a lot of spins, a lot of dancing. Yep, yep. So my mother's thrilled. <laughs> this is the show my mother's been waiting for. <laughs> Hi, Mom. And your wife, Jessica, Rush is in Summer, the Don't Summer is. Musical, yes. so that's nice. A yes. bro Broadway husband and wife team, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's far out. We're, we're, we're very lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how's, uh, how's family life it's good. when you guys are in shows? Uh, it's, well... Uh, my in-laws live with us right now, so cool. it's great. <laughs> that's good. Well, that helps. That helps. I mean, yeah, that's the reality of Broadway life. Yeah, it's, when far, it's an old-school Broadway life. Yeah, I mean, when you're putting a show up, I, I mean, you guys are rehearsing like, right up until yeah. opening, right? Yeah. And you open next week. We open a week from today. What do you, uh, you're, you're known for your fashion, in my, in my, in my head. Um, <laughs> I think you're your fashion. I like your fashion. Oh, thanks, Paul. What I like are you going to wear opening too. night? Um, Andy Carl and I are going to be wearing Brooks Brothers tuxedos. Oh, nice. Oh. Is that a spoiler Schmancy. alert, too? No. Should I have <laughs> said that? I like it. I don't it. know what to say around here. No, that's great. It's schmancy. Yeah, I think it yeah. is schmancy. Yeah. We yeah. wanted to go classic, you know. It's, yeah. it's, it's kind of that fairy tale ballroom vibe. And uh huh. I, it's, it's the first uh, opening night invitation I got that said uh, black, black tie optional. Oh. Yeah, that, that, yeah, a lot of people think Broadway openings are a lot fancier than they really mm -hmm. are. So I can't and, wait to see what you wear. What are you going to wear? I don't know. Now, now the pressure's on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the heck? I didn't know. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Uh, That's why I'm here. <laughs> making me stressed out. <laughs> so you get to play the role that Hector Elizondo famously yeah. played in the movie. What's the name of that guy? Mr. Thompson. Right. So he is the hotel manager. He's the hotel manager. And he, he has such a great relationship with Vivian mm -hmm. because... Um, he is nice to her, and everyone's mean to her in this fancy world because because of who she is, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. is, that, is that fun? You have, you have great chemistry with Samantha oh, Barks. I mean, she's she's a star. 
Yeah. She's she's incredible. She's as cool as she is talented. Mm-hmm. And just always smiles. I mean, she's got dimples for miles. Mm-hmm. Always smiles, got dimples for yeah, miles. Right? There's a song there. I know. Wow. Spontaneity. I yeah, I like that. <laughs> um, I am a big fanboy of The Greatest Showman. Oh, I, yeah. I actually am yeah. a big, um, and if people don't like it, I get really angry. And yeah. I get really like, like snappy about it. And mm-hmm. I listen to the soundtrack kind of nonstop. So does my daughter. Really? Yeah. She's into it? What's up, Elliot? I mean, but a lot of people do. Like yeah, that, that yeah, it's, out, it's huge. I mean, the mm-hmm. movie was a, ended up being a huge success. I feel like at first people were kind of like skeptical of it. Yeah. But then it ended up being like one of the biggest movie musicals ever. I mean, it felt really special on set. I yeah. mean, I, I, I would lie, if, I'd be lying if I didn't say that. And a, you know, a big part of it was because of Hugh. I mean, he was. Yeah. He Hugh Hugh Jackman is the guy that comes every Friday uh, on set with a stack of lottery tickets. And he hands them out to everybody oh, wow. in the cast and the crew so that he knows everybody's names. Wow. You know, cool. so, I mean, he, it's, it's that kind of uh, paternal, uh, you know, structure that, that I think really made it special from the start. And then yeah. you got, like, Keala. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel like, yeah. you know, I, I, f- uh, I feel like I was... A big part of why I was put in that movie was to witness her having her moment. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you and Kyala were both in mm. wait- waitress, waitress. waitress. When yeah. right at the time that you started working out, you were both in it at the same time. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it was during that whole. Yeah, that she whole had to time. leave early because of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she had to leave early to go become a big old star. Yeah, big old star. On the Oscars and all <laughs> that. Mm-hmm. No, she's yeah. she's she's nailing it. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. Uh, I actually would like to see a great showman on Broadway. Yes. Yeah, that's that's know. an interesting idea. I mean, the score is kind of amazing. I mean, I'd love to, I'd love for it to be able to breathe on its own as a movie for a while. You yeah. know, I mean, uh, we have a lot of movie into musicals yeah, happening yeah, yeah. these days, and I understand uh, that it's it's great property, but I yeah. also think that it'd be great if they could just you know let let Greatest Showman be what it is for ten years and then do. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm sure it won't. You know, I'm sure that next year they'll be talking about it. They're already talking about Someone it. Someone who's watching They're it right now. They're seeing if it's available right now. Yeah. And anyway, but I know what you mean. I know but, what you mean. everything doesn't have to. But be yeah, a it'll musical. it'll work great on stage. Yeah. It'll work great on stage. Yeah. They're they're everybody knows the songs. Yeah. Yeah. I know every word about. I don't sing. Uh, hey, Caitlin, yes. are there any questions out there? Of course there are questions. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Ooh, I like this one. What was the best advice that Gary Marshall ever gave you? Uh, to be funny. Mm-hmm. I, I think I think Gary was really into being funny, but also finding the truth in, in, in being funny. Mm-hmm. The, uh, truth is a lot more funnier than uh, falsehood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very true. Is it? Is it true? Or is that falsehood? Oh, I don't no, know. It's I not a joke. <laughs> so, yeah, did, I think did it's you, true. Did uh, you love any of his TV shows? Like, would you grow up on any of those? Who didn't? But, like, what <laughs> were you, like, your favorite? Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, yeah, Mork and Mindy. That's not one. I certainly your favorite. Well, I'm, I'm going in order. I know who he is. <laughs> from from <laughs> one to three. Love it. Yeah. Anyway, he, he, he made a lot of great things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah iconic. Iconic. Just like, and, you know, it's it's crazy to be working on something so iconic where, you know, it's it's a bonus that our show is good, yeah. You know because it's it's got a pretty decent title. Yeah. Far out, far out. What a decent title it has, <laughs> <laughs> and it's cool. I mean, it's fun. Yeah. Love people it. are coming with their dates. People are bringing you know have roses and and uh, people are dressing in red gowns and tuxedos. I really? mean, they're doing it up. Yeah. There's I yeah. Love there's that. a lot of women in the audience. Yeah, I and mean, a lot of repeat offenders that people are coming multiple times wow. now already. Already. Yeah. Before we open, it's <laughs> just like. Wow, I, I remember you, and they're they're lip syncing a- along in the in the audience. I mean, we got a bit of a mania happening here, <laughs> stirring it up, snowballing. Yeah, I love that. What's what is something people maybe don't know about when you do those TV appearances? Like you were on the Today Show today. What, what's it like? Like, is it nerve wracking? Is uh, it you always have to get into place? I mean, I was l- like, I had to dance around, you know, with a hat and scarf today, and I didn't know I was going to be doing that until Jerry came up to me when we were on set and said. Hey, do this, and I was like, "Well, we need to get the hat," and and then I just did that, you, so you know. Do it. So you just do it. Yeah, we like do it, but it's yeah. fun, you know. It's exciting. Mm-hmm. And millions and billions. Like of this people is exciting. It. It's live. Yeah. Anything yeah, it's crazy. Mm, live. More people were watching. It's so nice show to be live. 
<laughs> what else, Kate? Yes, um, let's do. Okay, what was the Gary Marshall tribute night like? That's not Julia. Kate. Yeah, that was the Julia yeah. night, and but it was it was very touching and wonderful, and all the Marshalls were very happy, and they had a lot of family and friends there that also gave their blessing, mm-hmm. and so it was beautiful. It was kind of like uh, the family blessing before You're we beautiful. continue. Sorry, you said come on. <laughs> Sorry. You know, you can download the, f- uh, the the first track yeah. from the soundtrack today. I won't go back. Yeah. I won't go back. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a little Schwarzenegger on that oh. back. Do you have any uh, classic, like, classic musical comedy roles you want to play? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd like, th- I've, I haven't played Sweeney Todd yet. Yeah. That's the one that was in my head, too. And uh, I'd like to play uh, Don Quixote again. Nice. Okay. Where'd you but do that? Uh, I did in California. Yeah, back when I lived out there. Uh-huh. Do you sing that song often in the shower? No, no, no I take baths. <laughs> oh, you, t- you do. Mm-hmm. I take baths too. Yeah. Do you have a good bathtub in your place? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, I man. mean, that's why we got the place. Bathtub first. I'm the same way when I'm yeah. shopping for a place. Absolutely. Yeah, I need a. I need a. I mean, why? Bathtub? Why stand up in water when you can lie down? I need in a your own tub. dirt. Sometimes I take three baths in a day. I don't blame you. But I have to be home for that. And I don't have a bathtub. No, no, you're you don't have a bathtub? So. No. I, I guess know, I need to get another place. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'd visit, but, you know. Aw. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> Let's do another question. <laughs> um, what was it like taking the movie character and turning it into your own on stage? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> It was. Well, Hector no. Elizondo. I mean, uh, he really laid the blue. He really set the blueprint, <coughs> and uh, and then I got to just uh, flesh it out a bit more because they they gave me a bit more to do. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I love um, him. He was also in Frankie and Johnny, wasn't he? Hector yeah. Elizondo. Yeah. No, I mean he was like yeah. in every Gary movie. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like yeah. his best friend. Yeah, he's fantastic. Yeah, I love and that. But you have your own. It's cool because you're doing your own thing. That's what I love about uh, Jerry. Jerry's really good at that, letting people sort of do their own take yeah. on the same he's idea. He's very collaborative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He's not like, be Hector Elizondo. No. no. Yeah. That's cool. I like cool, that. Yeah. yeah, I do too. Let's do one more question, but I just want to tell you this, that appar- apparently Elliot is watching and saying, hi, Daddy, at the hey, screen. Hey, Elliot, what's Aww. up? Oh, there he is. I see you. Aww. Not really. But I love you. <laughs> Just wanted you to know that. Cool. But, okay, last question is, do you have a favorite song or moment to do in the show? Um, yeah. I, I mean, I, I love I love hearing Orfe nail her song, uh, Rodeo Drive, but I'm also... Baby. <laughs> Rodeo <laughs> Drive, baby. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I like the opera's number two, You and I. Oh, it's that's very, beautiful. Uh, it's a beautiful number. Very, it's a classic. So these are things you're not Brian in. Adams, these are things Jim you're Val- watching. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I like all the stuff that I'm in, but, uh, you know, give a shout out to everybody else. I got enough to do in this show. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Love spread it. the love. love Always it. spread the love, y'all. Yeah, it's <laughs> a good motto. All right, well, on that note, spread the love. Spread the love. <laughs> spread the love, people. Um, thank you so much, Eric. I'm glad to be here. It's always a My pleasure. pleasure. You're opening next Thursday night yeah. in Pretty Woman, the musical, at the Niederlander Theater, one block south of Aladdin. Black tie optional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have a great opening. Thank you. And you'll see me there again soon. Thank you for being here. Hey, Caitlin, why don't you take us out? Sure thing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day. Be sure to listen to all of our previous episodes by going to wherever you get listen to podcasts, typing in hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one. Be sure to tune in on Monday when we talk to Wicked's newest green girl, Jessica Vosk.